Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, I apologize for last episode, I had no idea it was an hour long. Uh, I was going to edit the video, and sure enough, it was an hour. And, uh, it, was, it was extremely hot, it was late, and I was working on this thing so long, I just did not want to spend the extra hour or two trying to shave a few minutes, so I'm just going to do a quick episode for you guys today. Uh, I did do a little bit of reworking on this, and I actually tried to do more rework, but I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, what I've done is, I've got the main, four main hover pads there. I put some other ones on the sides here, uh, facing towards the bottom of these. So this one here is facing down, that one down there is facing up. And it just basically works like a double motor. Oh, I didn't realize that. I had that one in the wrong spot. That could explain why this is a little, little weak. But that's that's fine. I did it with all four sides, so it has twice the power. Uh, what I should have done is actually should, should have actually gone two layers in. So instead of one stator coil, I'll call it, and I should have had two, and then I could have put 16 hover pads on there. Uh, another thing I could have done too is made the table out of uh, long slopes, and I actually spent about an hour and a half rebuilding this entire table the long slopes instead of these ceiling panels to cut the, cut down 50 tons off the weight and it I had nothing but problems with it because I have my attachment point right at the bottom there so as soon as I got rid of all this weight it became top heavy so as soon as it started to move it went down I was I spent half an hour trying to balance it and it just would not balance at all but this is at the point where it is right now I may decide to re rebuild this. Uh, I still have, pretty sure I still have the save file where it's, uh, where I just have the staters. Let me check. Yeah, I still have, I think I still have the main top one. Um, what, having the lighter version, I might even re redesign this, I don't know, like rebuild it. Uh, if I do, it's gonna be, the anchor point's gonna be there instead of down there. And I am definitely going to use the long slopes. Uh, another thing too is that ball is garbage. <laughs> like I've tried move, rolling around, it just will not move. But let's go ahead and get this going. So let's bring it to the right. And it does move. It actually moves pretty good. Uh, it could have been, could have had a little bit more room there. There you go. And then the ball should be rolling, but it doesn't. So let's go backwards. Oh, there it goes. There goes the ball. Let me go back this way. Yeah, I didn't realize that one hover pad was off. It's working. Uh, it's amazing. It's working. All right, uh, let's turn that off. We'll slow this down. See if we can get that ball to roll over. Still got a little bit of shaking going on. I'm thinking about getting rid of that hopper in the back there. I actually tried it. See, it just doesn't wanna, doesn't wanna turn, but still I'm moving a 170 ton structure with a push of a button. There it goes. All right, let's see if we can get it back. Come on, hurry up, faster, faster, faster. I wonder if I can get any more hover pads on there somehow. Probably not. No, we're stuck. Where are we stuck on? Oh, yeah, that hopper's in the way. So I actually have to move this back to lift the weight off that corner because this hover pad doesn't have the power to actually push down. So, yeah, slight design flaws, but the first time I attempted to do something like this, it's. That's expected. All right, we'll turn that off. Quickly stop the rotation. See if we can get that ball to move. No. And the whole reason why is because of this hitbox. Like you can actually watch it thump around, and that's why when it hits that ramp at the bottom, it sticks. Yeah, and there you go. It just stops. All right, it's better than better than Disney World. That's actually kind of kind of freaky watching it go up like that. Well, yeah, that's that. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this, but it is currently working, uh, and I'm going to accept uh, accept it as a win. 
technically it does. I blame the balls. And the next thing I wanted to do is uh, do a little bit of touch up on this thing. And I have an idea of what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to be using this idea for my, for my, uh, my special build next week. Uh, I am on vacation next week. I've probably said that about a million times, but vacations for me are priceless. Uh, but I have a very special build that I want to attempt or I'm going to do, it's going to be very creative and I'm going to probably end up using this mechanic because I probably will have some issues with it. Uh, let's see, I'm not in survival anymore, i got to remember, or creative anymore, i got to remember that. Actually, I have everything on there. I need one air blade, okay. So let's go like so. And we'll make these black. So what I'm going to do is basically, because we were having trouble with being too front heavy or something so I'm just gonna put a couple of air blades on here and the air blades are just gonna basically be something to support the weight but we'll call them radars just because and I was thinking of doing them black but I think I'll do the poles black and then we'll just stick some uh, white air blades on top Like so, it doesn't matter where they go because we're just using them because they're going to be on stabilization. All right, uh, white air blade, please. Thank you. And black post does add a little bit of weight, but should be okay. All right, let's get rid of that. Oh, I missed one. Not that it matters. And power. Okay, so we hop in, and we just hover up a little bit, and then we gotta get out, and then when I drop it, it should be lighter at the top. And, oh, that's right, I'm in survival now, I need a tool to do this. Okay, let's try that, get both vision off. And they spin like they're scanning too. I like it. All right. So now we can also adjust this on the fly. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, let's go down a little bit. Does not. You know, I thought they would have more speed than that. And then the hover pads, but apparently it doesn't. But it flies a little better, that's for sure. And then when we stop, it doesn't flip over. Oh, it will do that, however. But that's okay, just slight adjustments here and there. But yeah, I wanted to try this, because I figured this would work, and it sort of does. It doesn't steer too well, though. But then it's a boat. A cheesy boat. But anyway, so that's going to be it. I just wanted to run these this quick little episode with you guys. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.